I hope to make this a short video on what I would call or what most people call their grill gun. This is it for me. The Crossman 451. It is a CO2 powered blowback 22 caliber six shot pellet pistol. I have wanted one of these guns, oh, probably 16, 17 years. Um, I've only come across four, this being one of them. Uh, the first three, they all had some type of uh, mechanical issues, but I still wanted it anyway. Uh, I didn't get them. I actually was uh, outbid on all three pistols. I said if I ever seen one again, that uh, I was gonna win it. And when I saw this one, man, the condition, uh, the description that the seller gave, I knew I just had to have it. So uh, yeah, I bid high this time and I won. And my grow gun is actually now in my hands. Now that this pistol is in my hands, it has truly exceeded my expectations. Um, just the way it looks, it's heft. It's, it is an absolutely beautiful pistol. I mean, yes, it does have some, you know, some marks on it, but I'm not gonna complain for something that was made somewhere between 1969 and 1970. This thing is just, absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful and it's really really heavy actually and to kind of give you an idea of how heavy it is all right i got a scale here uh, come on and there's no co2 there's no pellets well, there's an empty CO2 cartridge, I should say. Two pounds, 12 ounces. Now to put that into perspective, I have a Crossman 600 with an optic on the top of it. And if you have one of these, you know how heavy these things are. Two pounds, 11 ounces. So as you see, this thing definitely has some weight to it. I mean, it's just absolutely beautiful pistol. Um, now, when I first got it, uh, the seller stated that there may be some issues with the seals and they're not holding air. Um, I opened it up took the empty CO2 cartridge out and this actually helps keep that grip panel on. Looked at the seal and yes, I could tell that the seal was a little worn. It's gonna to need to be replaced. I actually ordered a, a seal, CO2 face seal replacement for it. But for the time being, I wanted to verify if it functioned. And man, was I nervous. So what I did was I took one of these here and these are my go-to when I'm questioning a air gun face seal threw one of these in there real quick and basically I just place it in there put the CO2 cartridge in close it up be careful I was careful on how much I tightened it of course I had the hammer already cocked back a little bit so it's off of the uh, it's off of the firing pin or the valve and it held air walked outside I had no seal, uh, pellets in it. I pressed the trigger one time and I was said to myself, the amount I paid for this pistol was worth it. It was absolutely phenomenal. Just the blowback and the feel, the single action trigger, this pistol is absolutely awesome. So the next thing I did was I went back in the house, I loaded up six pellets and I fired all six pellets at a can 
and I said to myself, man, this thing is absolutely amazing. It functioned excellent. Absolutely, it, it totally blew me away. To me, on a scale from one to 10, this thing is a 10, and this is a seven. Yes, in my personal opinion, this beats this. No questions. Yes, this holds more pellets, you'll get more shots, but the feel of this thing, the recoil, I mean, it's just, it's just absolutely phen phenomenal. I mean, it's just, I'm so glad to have it. Uh, in this video, I'm only going to fire six shots. Uh, unfortunately, these pistols, they have uh, two main issues. One, the hammer breaking because it's uh, some type of centered steel or something like that. And the uh, blowback, the nylon valve or nylon seal for the uh, blowback, they tend to wear out. So I'm only going to fire six shots, one across the crony, and then I'm going to do five shots at 15 yards to kind of give you an idea of accuracy. Um, I have not zeroed this. I was hitting the can, that's all I know, and the can was probably only five feet from me. But we'll see. The temperature is currently 60 degrees. The test pellet that I'm going to use is the RWS Hobby. It's an 11.9 grain flat nose lead pellet. My target is set at 15 yards. The pellet I'm going to use for this test are the RWS Meisterklugen. This is a 14 grain lead pellet. Again, like I said, I have not zeroed this pistol. I'm just going to aim for the center, press the trigger five times, and show you that group. So have a look. And we have one, two, three, four, and five. And again, that distance is uh, 15 yards. So this is my short video on the Crossman 451. Um, I actually thought about doing a full review on this pistol, but uh, I'm not going to chance it. Uh, I've wanted this pistol for too long. I paid a lot of money for it, and the last thing I want to do is do anything to it to uh, damage it, break it, whatever. I'm just glad to say that I actually uh, own something that I've been wanting for a really long time and uh, I'm really happy and uh, really happy to have it. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Until next time. Actually, before I go, I have one very important to me question I would love to ask someone out there that I'm pretty sure probably knows the answer to it. And that is, what was the original cost of this pistol when it was in the store? There is absolutely no information about that on the internet. And uh, yeah, I don't know who else to ask other than Crossman. And even then they could probably just give me probably a retail. But if anyone knows what these cost in the stores when they were available, I would really, really, really like to know. Thank you and goodbye.